Hey guys, today we're going to do a little science experiment with bounce height again. Uh, if you didn't see the last video on it, check that out, it's on the channel. Uh, but, last time we checked by stick diameter, basically, and we found that the smaller sticks don't bounce as well as the larger sticks. The weird outlier in that video was this standard Vic Firth 5A. Today we're going to do all 5A sticks, and the difference is going to be, obviously they're different brands, but the main difference is going to be the taper. So they're sort of all the same length, only one of them's nylon. We'll see if that makes any difference. I don't think it will. Um, but I've got a pair of calipers here and a tape measure. And so I'm going to find the exact point where the taper starts, then measure the taper length on all these. And we're going to see if that makes a difference, and I think that it will. Here's the field in order of taper length. The shortest taper was this no-brand stick, which I'll call Brand X in the style of old commercials. Uh, then the Stick Express then the Promark Forward, then the Vic Firth Wood, then the Vic Firth Nylon, which the, the actual tip of the nylon is just a little bit longer, making that uh, technically a longer taper, but otherwise the stick is the same. Um, then the Sound Percussion, then the Promark uh, Rebound is the longest taper. So this is the order I should expect them to bounce in, from least bounced to most bounce, or vice versa, and we're going to find out. The smallest taper is three and an eighth, and the largest taper is three and seven eighths. So that's only three quarter of an inch difference between the shortest and longest. We're looking at the same test apparatus as last time. A pedal with the chain, spring, and beater removed. We're going to lift this up to a predetermined angle, drop it down, and we're going to watch all of them from exactly the same angle here on a tripod so we can directly compare their highest points. Brand X stick, here we go. Stick Express, here we go. Promark Forward, here we go. Vic Firth Wood Tip. Vic Firth Nylon. Sound Percussion. Promark Rebound. So I'm, uh, you know, not technically inclined, so I'm just filming my computer screen here for lack of a better way to do this. But basically these results don't make sense to me on first glance. Uh, they weren't in the order that I expected it to be in, and the trend was sort of in the opposite direction I expected it to be in. So if you look at this graph, these red points are the weights, these green points are the tapers, and this blue line is the weight divided by the taper, so combining them into one factor. And that's the only one where we see a really clear trend. Um, the high weight divided by the long, uh, shortest taper, one, the low weight, uh, or sort of low-ish weight divided by the longest taper, uh, lost. You know, this was the winning stick and this was the losing stick over here. Um, so if we look at this, uh, pretty much sort of confirms the results from last time with the exception of that outlier 5A stick, where the bigger stick bounces higher. Well, that's just because it's sort of heavier. Uh, basically, the more weight you have and the more weight farther forward that weight is, the bigger bounce you're going to get. So, why do people like the longer taper to feel more reboundy? Quotes. Um, well, it must have to do with the way you hold the stick, how it feels in your hand, the reaction you personally have to it, rather than the stick itself. Because in these empirical tests, it's sort of the exact opposite. Anyway, one interesting thing is these two points that are like extremely far apart on this green line. This is the stick with the short taper from Promark, and this is the stick with the long taper from Promark. So they tried to make them as different as possible, and you can see that. Um, and yet they're the same weight, you can see that here, and they're stuck right in the middle of the pack on this test. So uh, even though they feel different in the hand, that has to do with somehow me reacting to the stick rather than the sticks themselves, because in reality, empirically, they're not that different. Um, so there must be a psychological or physiological factor other than the pure physics of the stick. The test was a success, but in a way that I did not anticipate. Um, the tapers and the weights by themselves don't have that much to do with the feel, but when you combine them together, there's a clear correlation between the high weight and the short taper versus the low weight and the long taper. So if you take that information together, it should inform you about how a stick is going to perform. This test is just weird.